You want to get Journey Map for Minecraft 1.21? Let's go ahead and jump on into it. First things first, you want to go here. This is the second link in the description down below, and this will take you to our in-depth text guide on getting Journey Map, but we're going to be going over everything in this video as well. So when you're here, go ahead and click on the Download Journey Map button to be taken to Journey Map's official download page. On this page, you want to go ahead and click on Files, and then you want to find the 1.21 Forge version. So right here it is. It is for Forge. It is for 1.21, but you can also filter, so we can do 1.21 for the Forge Mod Loader, and then it will bring up all the ones that we can use with this video. So we want to go with this most recent one right here. Click the three dots and click download file and the file will begin downloading after a few seconds. Lots downloading though. How to invest from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash SGH and start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, or mod packs to your server and truly customize the server any way that you want. Plus there's expert live chat support there to help you out along the way. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash SGH and start your Minecraft server the simple way. Nevertheless, we can see here Journey Map is now ready to download. We can save it, we can keep it. Whichever your browser is requiring, that's okay, and you may just download it right away. There's one more thing we need to download, and that's the Forge Mod Loader itself. This is what's going to allow Journey Map to actually work in Minecraft. Forge kind of sits in the middle between Journey Map and Minecraft, making them talk to each other. So in the description, we have a link to this. This is our in depth guide on going over everything you need to know to get Forge. It covers everything, even frequently asked questions and troubleshooting. We're going to be going over the basics in this video and even mention a little troubleshooting, but this is way more in depth. Once you're here, go ahead and click on download and it will take you to Forge's official download page where we want to make sure that we're selecting the 1.21 version. So go to the left hand side, click on 1.21, and then click on 1.21 again. Finally, we have Minecraft 1.21 listed here. That means we're on the right version so we can go under download latest and click on installer. That then takes off to add focus where stop. Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Just put your hands in the air and wait about 10 seconds. After about 10 seconds, you will see a red skip button appear up here in the top right. When you go ahead and click that red skip button, Forge will start downloading. You may need to keep or save the file, but it's 100% safe to do that as long as Forge is in the title. When you click save, it's going to download, and now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. We want to move Forge and Journey Map to our desktop. So, Go ahead and open up our file explorer here and go to wherever files download for you. For me, that's my downloads folder, but it can be whatever they go for you. Then we have Forge and Journey Map move to our desktop, and now we can start off by installing Forge. Go ahead and right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But you don't have Java. Well, if you don't have Java here, or if you do, and it doesn't work, the same solution works for both things. Not having Java or having Java and it not working. And that's because now you need Java 21. So if you don't have Java at all, get Java 21. If you have Java, you've got an old version of Java. You need Java 21 for Minecraft 1.21 and higher mods and all of that stuff. So for example, Forge mods, servers, all that need Java 21 now. So in the description down below, we have a link to this, which goes over everything you need to know to get Java 21. Once you've got that, we recommend running the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files from your computer and link them back to Java. It's also linked in the description. But First get Java, then run the jar fix, and now we can install Forge. Right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That'll open up the Forge installer. Well, all you've got to do is click Install Client, click OK, sit back, relax for a few seconds, and it will install. Now, this may not work, and if it doesn't, it's probably because Minecraft and the Minecraft Launcher are open. Make sure both those are closed, or if you've never played Minecraft 1.21 before, just go ahead, play Minecraft 1.21, open it up to the main menu, close out of it, and then this will work. Now we can go ahead and click OK, and it will close out of the Forge installer, and we can delete it. Now, let's get Journey Map installed. To do that, we want to open up the Minecraft Launcher and make sure we're playing Minecraft with our Forge installation. Now, by default, that's selected for me here. As you can see, Forge which is automatically selected in the bottom left. But if you don't have this here, go ahead and go to installations up here at the top. Then make sure modded is checked because as you can see, if modded is not checked, it's not there. Modded, there it is, Forge 1.21 Forge. Click play, click play again. But if you still don't have Forge, click new installation. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it simplegamehosting.com because that's the easiest way to play modded Minecraft with your friends. And then go ahead and click the versions drop down box here. In this drop down, you want to find release 1.21 Forge. Right here it is for me. Select that. And now we're good to go. We can go ahead and click create in the bottom right. And now we have simplegamehosting.com 1.21 forge. This profile is created. We can go ahead and play Minecraft using it. And once we're in game, it's super easy to add journey map. All we've got to do is go to mods and then open mods folder. Again, that was from the main menu. Once you've opened Minecraft with Forge, go to mods and then open mods folder in the bottom left and drag and drop journey map from your desktop into your mods folder, right like so. 
but it's not here. And it's not going to be. We need to close out of Minecraft and then reopen Minecraft, making sure we're playing with our Forge installation. Anytime you want to play Journey Map or any other Forge mods you install into that mods folder, you have got to be playing Minecraft with the Forge installation. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So let's go ahead and make sure that's selected here, either one we created or the one that was there by default. Click play, click play to confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft. And now, on the main menu, you will be able to go to the mods folder and see Journey Maps installed, but most importantly, jump in game and see it installed. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. If we go to mods, we will be able to see Journey Map and Journey Map API. It even adds in common networking, but really what we're looking for here is Journey Map and it is installed and working. Now we can jump into a multiplayer server because Journey Maps works on servers, even if the mod's not on the server. Really, really cool. So as long as it's allowed by the server rules, you can use Journey Map on any server that you want, as long as it accepts vanilla connections. And then in the top right, we will see it start loading in up here and we can see it prompted us in the chat to press J to open up journey map tons of new features have been added with Minecraft 1.21 Journey Map. It's worth checking all these out, but if you press close, we'll be able to see the full screen map, be able to zoom in and change things, and you can manage waypoints from here by going to waypoints at the bottom. We'll go ahead and name this our spawn area, make it a yellow waypoint, save that. You can teleport to waypoints if you have cheats enabled. Obviously, you can see them in game right like so, and on top of that, you can also turn them on and off if you want to. For example, if you don't want to see them, you just want to have them for later, you can turn them on and off to do that. So there you have it. Journey Map is the best, in my opinion, Minecraft mod out there for maps because it adds in not only an amazing mini map in the top right, and you can customize that and make it square and all sorts of stuff like that. It also adds in this full screen map. It's so cool to be able to see your world from a top down view, and it's always getting better. The developer, like I said, made a ton of improvements for Minecraft 1.21. Anyway, we'll see you in the next video. My name is Nick, and I am out. Peace.